Hey everybody, Greg Poole here with Bow Junkie Media. We are at the 2020 Vegas shoot here in day two. This is live, the $10,000 shoot off on day two. So everybody who shot 300s today gets to shoot off for $10,000. Regardless of what you shot yesterday, regardless of what you shoot tomorrow, if you shot a 300 today in the championship divisions, you get to shoot off for $10,000. Justin Hanna right there, this is our main man, Justin Hanna. So before they rush him off yesterday like he was the president trying to be assassinated, yeah. they didn't even let you take a picture with your arrow in the target. I don't know what that was all about. But this is your day one winner right here, cashing 10,000 large, Justin Hanna. So we didn't get a chance to talk to you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Levi's giant head's in the way. Or actually, I should make a joke about ears. what's actually his giant ears. Okay, Justin Hanna said that, not me. But uh, so let's talk a little bit. We didn't get a chance to catch up yesterday. Of course, you won the 300 shoot off yesterday and you're here again today, which means you're sitting at a 600. So first yeah. of all, Thanks, congratulations on that. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about that, uh, about that sh shoot off last night. You actually shot back to back inside outs. Yeah, I shot back. I actually shot all three. The the first one for just the super, I thought I wasted it because it was dead centered. I was like, well, I'm done. But then, yeah, I followed up with two inside outs, so a little bit of luck. But, yeah, it was cool. Uh, well, three ins one on the first one is like, dang, I ruined it. Number <laughs> number two was like, oh, I just got lucky, but I hate to burst your bubble, but three in a row, that's not luck anymore. They were good shots, I ain't going to lie. But, yeah, <laughs> they were all good shots. But, well, the big arrow, because I shot 27, so right. the big arrow, you got to have a little bit of luck. But, yeah. Absolutely. So you're sitting at a 600. So winning the shoot off last night for 10 grand, coming in here today, backing that up with another 300. How much confidence did that winning that uh, inside out 10 grand last night give you coming into today's round? It was a lot of confidence, man. Knowing I could make you know pretty good shots under pressure and stuff, it felt good and calmed my nerves a little bit. But it, it was just a bonus, you know. The goal is still 900, of course. But yeah, boost my confidence quite a bit. All right, so now that you got 10,000 in that pocket already, and then you're coming in tonight to try to put 10 G's in the other pocket, keeping that 900 in round, you know, that 900 in mind, because winning the Vegas championship is the ultimate goal. But when it comes down to, there's really no other events where you can put 10 grand in your pocket one day, put 10 grand in your pocket the next day. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, potentially walk out with maybe 140. So yeah. talk a little bit about that dynamic because it's that's just not something being able to win that kind of money throughout the event is just not normal yeah I know I've never I mean that 10 grand last night was like winning at ASA pretty much for me I mean so yeah very rarely can you you can't ever shoot for one day and win 10 grand much less two days 20 and like you said three days for 140 or whatever so yeah it's it's unreal and it's a great event you know and but yeah it's a it's a cool feeling to know you're eligible to shoot for that amount of money so it's cool all right, so last question, then I'll let you get back over there to yeah. Levi looking like he's having a spasm. Uh, are you the kind of archer that actually went and warmed up for this, or are you just coming into this cold turkey? I ain't warmed up yet. I've shot my two practice ends yesterday and two practice ends today, and I ain't fired an arrow since I shot my round today. All right, and so I figured that's what you was going to say, and I talked to, I talked to some guys today. I talked to Chance and a few other guys, and it would seem – on paper, that a 3D guy, which you are, would have the a little bit of a potentially warm-up advantage there because you guys are used to shooting one arrow, sitting half hour right. or ish yeah. more, okay. and then and then shooting more. So how much do you think that that uh, you know coming up in the 3D world plays a role, and you just be able to come right in here and just send it? Yeah, that's definitely an advantage because, like you said, we'll get we get to a 3D tournament and shoot a handful of arrows at 7 a.m. and then we don't shoot till 8 or 8:15. So and like you said, we'll shoot one arrow and sit on our stools for 30 minutes and then shoot, go shoot another one. So, you know, it's being able to cold bore it definitely comes from 3D background, you know. No doubt. All right, buddy. Good luck tonight. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a All good right. one. All right. That's Justin Hanna right there. He won the thing last night. Levi's getting his form already set right there. And he's, he's, he's him and Justin are pointing it out. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to go over the format here real quick. They are going to get one arrow right off the bat, normal Vegas scoring. There is no warm-ups, there is no equipment failures, there is no emotional safe spaces, there is none of that. When they start this, 
they start this, and it is on Lion Donkey Kong from the get-go. So when they shoot the first arrow, it's going to be normal Vegas scoring. Second arrow is inside out, just like the lucky dog. Justin, as he said, was shooting big arrows, 27s, and he literally shot three arrows in this event last night, and all three were inside out. That's pretty damn impressive. So he's sitting at a 600. There's no reason he can't do it again. I am not necessarily a statistician, but the odds are probably not in his favor, but he certainly has the confidence going into this to do it again. And so that is just one of those things that uh, is going to happen. Once again, everybody who was here, here comes Bruce Cole. See if, he, see if he's going to talk. This is our second night of the 10K of A shoot-off. Give these 91 archers a big hand. We have everybody accounted for. We're going to read off the entire list of 91, and we're going to start immediately following that. So thanks again for participating. Hope you enjoy this. How many of you were in this yesterday? Raise your hands. All right, there's the ones to watch. Thanks again. Thank you, Bruce. Shooting for $10,000. Christopher Perkins, Jesse Broughtwater, Kyle Douglas, Chance Boboff, Dave Cousins, James Lutz, Richard Bowen, Justin Hanna, Roberto Hernandez, David Hauser, Wade Greniger, Colton Hamilton, Stephen Hansen, Brady Hampton, Louis Price, Chris Schaff, Mike Schlusser, Jacob Slusars, Paul Tedford, Jean-Philippe Bouche, Pierre-Julien Deloche, Cole Frederick, Michael Holbert Jr., Dan McCarthy, Jacob Pettit, Grant Schlusner, Taylor Spoolstra, Tyler Wortham, Curtis Broadnax, Anthony Ferraro, Lonnie Jacob Marlowe, Jeremiah McConnell, Paige Pierce, Jean Pizarro, Brandon Reyes, Keith Trail, Elia Fregnan, Louis Holmes, Dane Johnson, Miko Jutalainen, Reginald Cools, Woo! Levi Morgan, Jeremiah Starks, Travis Tracy, Rio Wild, Glenn Boardwell, Jake Gleitz, Tyler Heritage, Samuel White, Shane Wills, Anders Fogstag, Lee Gibbs, Ryan L. Johnson, Ryan Locke, Robbie Knott, Sergio Pagni, Conyer Sears, Caleb Sorrells, Domagoch Budin, Timothy Chekarevsky, Martin Damsbo, George Riles IV, Mario Vavro, Evren Kajiran, Peter Elzinga, Brent Fredericks, Woo! Daniel Munoz, Furkan Oroch, Cole Zug, Jesse Clayton, Brady Ellison, Rob Morgan, Federico Pagnoni, Noah Vodnicki, James Ball, Rod White, Kendall Woody, Benton Christensen, Demir Emegakli, Peyton Hookstead, Richard Jackson, Peyton Keller, Austin Allen, Randall Kilpack, Ella Gibson, Clayton Moore, Sarah Preels, Alejandra Uschiano, Jesse Soot, Brandy Granite, and Pan Yu Ping. Good luck, competitors. All right, everybody, that is the competitors. Competitors, lucky dog rules will apply to this shoot down. You will be shooting a single arrow. There will be no practice. The arrow must score an X. If you do not score an X and others do, you will be standing down. The second arrow will be shot by Vegas lucky dog rules. It must be an inside out X. If an arrow 
passes through the target and cannot be scored under NFAA rules, you will shoot again. If everyone understands the rules, as soon as Bruce has cleared the floor, our director of shooting will start you once again. We need one shooter to put up their target. Better move. Well, I don't know who paid their $25, but didn't put up their target, but uh, they better get to stepping. So we are waiting right now in a holding pattern for one archer to put up their target. And here comes the walk of shame. So we also have another gentleman saying he shot a 300 and is not on the list. That would be, that would be the young Mr. Hopkins. That would be the young Mr. Hopkins. So Scott Hopkins, son of legendary 3D archer Jeff Hopkins, Bruce is saying that he shot area. a Bruce 300 but is not listed on the sheet. So basically what's going to happen is, is the gentleman just ran down and put up his target. But similar to last night, we have a competitor who was not listed on the list of 300s, but obviously he paid his $25 and showed up to try to win the $10,000. So he is going to need to be verified right now. They will verify his score and verify that he paid his $25, and they will add him into the mix. And it is young Mr. Jeff Hopkins. So apparently, there is an identifying mark on the name card for p competitors who paid their $25. And he stepped up to the line. So we're going to have to see if uh, we're going to have to see what that's about. Let me go over here and. Uh, I'm going to see if, uh, so apparently, on the name tags, so on the name tags, there is indeed a list that what the competitor paid for. So on the, on the name tag, it says bow storage, VIP practice, and 10K a day. Now, of course, that was Paul Tedford's name tag, but competitors who paid for the additional items at the event will be listed on the scorecard. So if the, if young Jeff, uh, Jeff, it's his dad, of course, but if young Scott Hopkins does not have the $10,000 a day printed on his scorecard, he's probably not going to be too happy. Let's actually, uh, let's go down there and find out. All right, so Scott says he registered for it and paid, but it's not printed on his name tag. So basically what's going to happen? Okay, it has been, has been verified, and Scott Hopkins did pay his $25, so Scott Hopkins is good to go. That's probably not the mental... No practice ends. Here we go. Good luck to all 92 of you. And the whistle will start. You've got one minute. All right, got Competitors have one minute to shoot. With 93 people up here, of course, it's going to be literally impossible to see what happens until the very end. But. All right, here we go. So there does seem to be some inside outs down there, but impossible to know who's who. So once we go down, they will have multiple judges pulling arrows. So it's not like we're going to be able to start at one end and go to the other. What's going on, Mike? Hannah donutted his first one again. 
Justin Hanna apparently has inside out at his first arrow, which was completely unnecessary. However, certainly builds confidence going down to it. I don't even I, I don't even want to know what the odds are. So so Chris did too. So Chris Perkins is in there as well. Let's go down here and take a look. Like I said, I can't go from one end to the other simply because it's the entire length. So let me look at it's a pretty pretty decent arrow there. You're right. Now it, now, it, now it just gives me a nice little aiming marker. <laughs> right. So Chris Perkins has been in this position before. And yeah, Chris, Justin Hanna's arrow looks pretty stout. Hard to. So obviously, for this round right now, folks, all it takes is an X. It does not have to be inside out. So even if there are some inside outs, it doesn't score anymore at this point. So, anything that scores an X right here is good to go. One thing to keep in mind for a competitor like Chris Perkins, if he just shot an inside out X, he now has a hole to aim at. And that's problematic for everybody else. Oh, well, that's true. George just said there is the possibility that they could make them change it. So, so they did yesterday, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens because, yeah, if you were, if, if you have an inside out hole to aim at and you're Chris Perkins, that's, that's going to be problem. That's that's a huge advantage. So all right, let's uh Mikey Slosher has a good arrow down there too, but all it takes is an X right now to move on. So we got a fair amount of X's down here. At this level, of course, it's not a huge surprise to see most of these guys hit inside outs. Jesse Broadwater has a X10 literally on the scribe hole. Jesse, were your eyes open when that shot went off? Never. All right, so that's the secret to Jesse Broadwater's success, everybody. Oh, hey, look at that. Shocker. Good Lord. Can't even do it one time without being copied. Love it. Isn't archery great, folks? So that is, uh, that, that is what it is. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just funny. It's just funny. All right. So here we go. Everyone, Sergio Pagni. Oh, he's shaking his head. Sergio, Serge, what happened? Well, a uh, little too fast on the release, so I was aiming and going down and ah. was shaking, so a little high. Yeah, so Sergio had a little bit of a preemie, wasn't quite settled into things, and that's usually not a recipe for success. So Sergio's <laughs> on to fight for his 900 tomorrow. So yeah, as you can see, there's still a lot of targets up there. So here we go. This is this is inside out right now, folks. Let's wander down here and see what Jesse Broadwater's X10 was literally, no kidding, on the scribe hole. Like literally the X in the middle, it was in the middle of that X. So here we go. There probably will be a cleansing right about now. All right, here we go, folks. I'm pretty impressed with the crowd as well, to be honest with you. It's, uh, there's a lot of people who are not quite shoot off tomorrow night people, but there's a lot. Jesse Broadwater is going to be out just because I happen to be standing here. I looked, but we will, uh, competitors have one minute to shoot. So some competitors taking longer than others, of course. 
This gentleman's trying to use up all his time right here. All right. So here we go. So basically, we're just waiting for the clock to run out. We will go down, see what, see what things look like on this end. We got Danny McCarthy, David Hauser, Douglas. Not seeing. We got one, one close one down here, and I'm about I'm to target 134, and I believe that there's only one possible inside out so far. Did you do that again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. What are you playing around here? Justin Hanna has shot another inside out and I'm no mathematician but uh, as far as this competition goes that's five in a row chance I can't quite see underneath yours is that one gonna know. it's close it's really close all right so it was a good one it was a good shot so so Justin Hanna has one chance Bobe has a real I'd have to uh, that's that's super close let me get down here Perkins is close too. I, that's damn close. That's damn close. That is one of those that are damn close. So here we go. We're gonna. Justin's is pretty much a. Justin's is pretty much a. Yeah, that's pretty much a no-brainer. That's a look through and uh, and he's giving it a double look. He's going to give it every chance. I couldn't call it from where I was. It was that close. He's taking a third look. He's giving it a fair shot. Nope, calls it out. Chance Bobeff just misses. It was that close, folks. It was that close. All right. Chris is that Chris is that that good? It's close. All right, we got another close one down here. Nope, not close enough. Chris says not close enough. So all right. That one looks pretty stout. I'm not sure A little bit to the right. That one's a little tall. That looks pretty good. Mr. Locke is in. Is that a kid? All right. What's that? What's that? I said, I'm going to kick Han in the leg. That's five in a row. Yeah, I know. Not really, because he missed a lot today. But <laughs> Wow, Levi Morgan with the reality check. Reality check. Don't worry, when you go back, when you go back and watch this live feed at the very beginning and August tells me to move because your head was in the way, I said, yeah, we got to move because Levi's head's in the way. And he said, we got to move because his ears are in the way. <laughs> if we say, right, that's right. That's how you hear all those big bucks on, on the way. All right, that's awesome. And for those of you wondering, yes, Levi Morgan has that good a sense of humor, so send all your hate mail to justinhanna at gmail.com, justinhanna at gmail.com. I hope that's not his real email. <laughs> okay, so we are going to combine things here. Dave Cousins and Keith, oh, Keith Trail up in this joint. You had a couple. You had a couple good ones to call down there. Man, I had to glass them a couple times. They're very close. Absolutely, absolutely. I couldn't call either one, but he gave him a fair shot. Looked at him two, three times, and it is what it is. Ooh, so we got a, 
We got Roberto Hernandez in here. We got Sarah Preels. We got young Mr. Locke. We got OG Dave Cousins. We got Idaho's Kirk, uh, Kyle Douglas. We got last night's champion, Hannah. And we got our senior representative, Mr. Mr. Keith Trail. Oh, we got one more guy down here. Look at Sarah Preels representing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Bob in the house. That's right. OG, OG Dave Cousins fitting to send out a tweet before throwing down some more extra middle. Dave just scheduled, Dave just scheduled a post. Just won the $10,000 shoot off. Post in five minutes. I'm joking, I don't know that that's what Dave did. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I totally made that up. I had to. All right. Right, I'm telling you. That's pretty impressive. There's not many people that can shoot four inside outs on command. Five. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> Ask Chance what he just said. What's that? He couldn't do it again if he wanted to. <laughs> I'm, pretty I'm pretty sure he does want to. But. All right, here we go. This one's in the red. <laughs> this one's in the red, you said. All right, here we go. Let me get behind Levi here because there's no reason for me to be up front. And my ears are in the way, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, here we go. Got awful quiet up in here. So here we go. If, no, if nobody else shoots an inside out, they all shoot again if they hit an X. Who did? They said Trail, Keith Trail, and Sarah Preels both have it. Wow. Preels. So let's go look at Sarah Preels and Keith Trail. All right, here we go. Sarah Preels, nice shooting. Thank you. <laughs> You're a little bit in shock. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. You know, I was just like, I'll just shoot it and see what happens. You know, that's pretty cool. That's easily the best $25 you ever spent. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sarah Preels. <laughs> Sarah Preels. Sarah Preels is the day two winner of the $10,000. Sarah, go stand up there. Sarah Preels is your day two $10,000 champion. Well, geez, Bruce, that's about as good as it can be. That's unbelievable. That's all I got to say. Good for her. She's one of the best female shooters in the, in the world. And uh, so it's just amazing that she was able to come out here and get this done. I mean, that is just absolutely fantastic. Sarah Preels has proved time and time again that she is one of the elite female shooters in the entire world. And yes, folks, I'm posting this right now because, well, that's how you do it. That's always cool when a girl wins. Super. All right, everybody, that's going to be a wrap for 
this live feed from the day two of the 2020 Vegas shoot. Sarah Preels is the day two winner. Justin Hanna made a great run. Gas Bowstrings is this weekend's brought to you by sponsor. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching. Stay tuned to Bow Junkie Media for more ongoing coverage, the best coverage, the most original coverage, and the most authentic coverage of the 2020 Vegas shoot. Good night now. <laughs>